Today, President Biden issuing new sanctions against more Russian oligarchs and their families. The new sanctions would seize yachts, luxury apartments, money, and other assets belonging to those oligarchs in U.S. jurisdiction. Two luxury yachts owned by Russian oligarchs have already been seized in Europe. Authorities in France took control of one yacht as it was trying to leave port. And Germany has reportedly seized another yacht. And we know Russian oligarchs are connected to properties here in New York, and that includes a townhouse in the West Village. But seizing the property, it's not that simple. The I-team's Chris Glorioso found wealthy Russian real estate is often hiding behind a web of shell companies. And he joins us now with what else he found. Chris. Well, Adam, the building behind me with the blue shutters is really emblematic of how difficult it is to target these sanctions to have maximum impact. For years, the Treasury Department has known this building is connected to a Russian oligarch, but the feds have been either unable or unwilling to seize the property. At 12 Gay Street in the West Village, no one's home. And neighbors say no one has lived here for years. Would you be surprised if at some point a building like that might be seized by the federal government? I have no idea how this kind of thing works. This townhome worth an estimated $14 million has long been connected to Russian oligarch Oleg Deripaska. He's a billionaire who's been sanctioned by the feds since 2018. Just last year, the property was raided by the FBI. The exact reasons still unclear. In the State of the Union address, I announced that the Department of Justice is going after the crimes of Russian oligarchs. Now that the Department of Justice has announced a crackdown on assets owned by Russian elites, one might wonder if a place like this would be in the crosshairs. But experts say targeting New York City's Kremlin-connected real estate can be like a game of whack-a-mole. The whole problem of Russian oligarchs, they have the most sophisticated advisors in the world telling them the best way to hide their assets, and they use the, the most secretive jurisdictions. Investigative journalist and author Seth Hatena has written extensively about Russian oligarchs and their vast real estate holdings in Manhattan. He says 12 Gay Street is a perfect example of how oligarchs hide the assets they control. The property's deed says it's owned by a Delaware LLC called Lucina, but city tax records show a British shell company called Gracetown pays the bills. That company is connected to another London firm called Terra Services, which Oleg Deripaska used to control. But just before those sanctions hit, he turned control over to an associate. The problems that you have trying to trace who the ownership is the problem that investigators have. To help investigators unmask New York City real estate connected to the Kremlin, State Senator Brad Hoylman has authored a bill that would force shadowy LLCs to list their beneficial owners, domestic or foreign. Those who are using New York City real estate to launder money, uh, hide assets, prop up uh, foreign governments like Russia, well, uh, this is our moment to take them on. In recent days, Oleg Deripaska has made social media posts which are beginning to show the possibility that he is breaking with President Vladimir Putin. He has posted that peace cannot come soon enough in Ukraine and that peace talks need to begin immediately. It may be a sign that oligarchs are starting to feel the squeeze. Remember, in the past, when there were sanctions in America, they could move their assets to other Western countries. But just about every Western country has sanctions now. There are fewer places to hide. Reporting from the West Village, Chris Glorioso, News 4 New York. All right, an in-depth look there, Chris. We thank you for that.